guys so obviously the angle is bad because this isn't a real like sit down makeup video this is just a clip in the vlog of me getting ready um I already did my brows they look a little dramatic and that's not my look anymore that's not my vibe um I've been liking a thinner brow a more natural brow on camera they look so dramatic but in person hmm I don't know but I wanted to hop on here because I'm watching E's Daily Pop. For anyone who doesn't know it's always been my dream since like high school. My dream job is to work for E! News. Um, I don't know if that's still a dream of mine but I watch it like every day but anyways they're talking about Wendy Williams show being cancelled and I thought I would just turn the camera on and talk to you guys. Yeah I don't know how to feel about Wendy Williams show being cancelled. Oh, I was and still am a fan of Wendy Williams. I know, you know, people, it's like hot and cold with her. So either you like her or you don't. I've been watching Wendy Williams, honestly, since I was in 11th grade. That's when I first started watching her. Maybe. It might have been 10th grade. Um, her show. And because I've always wanted to be like a talk show host or like a media, you know, maven type of person, she was just one of my people that I looked up to. A black woman doing her thing in media whether you know it was talking about the celebrities in a bad way or a good way but her being like not coming back I don't know has me feeling some type of way honestly because Wendy Williams whether people want to you know admit it or not she is a media icon really because and then she recently got her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, which is a huge accomplishment for any, you know, celebrity or whatever. But Wendy Williams not being on TV every day at 10 o'clock a.m. or 11, whatever, is going to be different um, because she was the queen. Like she started from radio, obviously, or some people may not know. She started from radio. She kind of was like a shock job and said things that people were thinking but never had the courage to say like she had no filter and all that stuff so they literally made the wendy williams show custom for her like it wasn't like a show that already existed and they needed a new host they made the show for her because she was so good at her job and she's had so many guests on so many like iconic monumental media moments on her show her falling out Amorosa on there trying to read her on her own show I don't even know what the heck happened and really the world doesn't really know what happened with um Wendy Williams we just know well a lot of speculation is like people because you know when he used to be on drugs or used to do cocaine or something like back in the day and some people say that she never really stopped. She was just um, able to function with it, like a functioning crackhead, pretty much. A lot of people were saying, like, after the whole thing with her husband, the divorce, her documentary came out, we got to get more of an insight into that whole entire awful situation. The world just kind of feels like Wendy really, really, really went through it bad, and she just couldn't really deal that well with everything that she was going through the divorce the side baby you know her mom dying her brother kind of like turning into an op low-key um against her you know her son was already in college but you know her son going to college um you know all different life changes and some of them were very dramatic and traumatic for her so people think that she went back to drugs which i hope that's not the case but it could be the case um she does have, I think, Graves' disease and lymphedema, so that is a major thing. But yeah, it's kind of sad to see her go, and Sherry Shepard is not necessarily replacing her, but she's getting her own daytime talk show in the same slot that Wendy Williams' show came on. Look at this new uh, Real Techniques beauty sponge that I got. It's like marble. It's really nice. Cute. 
Actually, almost done. I can't believe how much I like TikTok because when TikTok first came out, I was like, no, I'm not getting the app because I feel like I already had too many apps. I felt like I already had too many social media things to keep up with. I try to scroll like I don't even have that much time in the day. So when I saw TikTok was out, I was like, I'm not getting TikTok. I had to get it. Now it's my thing. Okay guys, this is what I decided to wear. Just trying to wear these boots before um, the weather changes completely, but this is simply just a black like ribbed mock neck from Shein and some black leggings that I absolutely love from Target and then my jean jacket. I kind of want to put on this jean jacket because it's Black History Month and why not? But this jacket is really my go-to. I try to do like the wispy thing with my edges so if they look a little busted don't say nothing. Okay just trying out some new things um dinner starts at seven um takes me probably about 15 minutes to get there so this is how the black jean jacket looks mm, i kind of like this too this jacket is longer uh, let me scoot this down so y'all can see. This jacket is a little bit longer in length. Um, so I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go with the other jean one. That black one was a little, just a little snug on my arms. And a lot of people don't know this, but actually my biggest insecurity, my entire body are my arms, so. I'd rather wear something more oversized and yeah so this is what we wear and then like I said these boots there's Nipsey he knows I'm up to something and as far as the bag here in this little Louis Vuitton clutch and I am wearing what is this Dior is it Dior no it's not who is this Oh, Daisy Love, Marc Jacobs perfume. And I'm about to jet. I will see you guys when we get there. This is just a little shout out in my vlog. It will be the third birthday. Today is Friday. And uh, I'm about to head out to do some promo for my business. So that's what I have to catch you guys up on because I definitely have not informed you guys. I think I did in like one of my previous vlogs a while ago, but yeah, I'm taking it to a whole nother level. So uh, just wanted to add some more pink. But anyways, you guys know I have or had, have, whatever, um, uh, started a luxury picnic business and I've just been really trying to up the ante on it and make it even more professional and just try to get um, more of the word out and all that good stuff. I've made some cute little business cards here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, it's sitting style. So I'm about to go pass out some business cards. I've been promoting us on um, Instagram a lot and just really doing more with it. Um, creating new themes and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm about to head out and do. You guys don't know this because I don't think I vlogged it. But I did cut my hair. So as you can see, my hair barely, barely can fit in a bun. It probably doesn't look like a lot, but I literally cut, I don't know what it is in inches, but like this much in length off my hair like from this length of my hair off so my hair was like right here and I cut it to like up here because <sighs> my hair has just been tripping lately so I was like let me just cut all this off most of it and see as long as I can still get a bun I'm good I really want to get some braids but that's beside the point let me hello 
can I get a medium iced coffee with uh, one pump of caramel and one pump of mocha? Thank you. You have a good day. You too. Ugh. Sir, I know what I'm getting. I drink this once a week. I know. Yeah, so my plan is to just hand out business cards to like some local cute clothing boutiques um, because I also want to like advertise that we do picnics not only for, I feel like a lot of people think picnics are for like, um, like cute like anniversary or date night or proposal like romantic things but you can celebrate birthdays with the picnic you can celebrate for example like a local business here maybe a local clothing boutique celebrated their one year anniversary and they want to do um like a cute luxury picnic for their staff that kinds of stuff we do all kinds of stuff so i'm just trying to get the word out about my little small business well, let me take a little out of it. Big business. Okay, guys, so this is what I do. This is my luxury picnic business. As you can see, it says sit in style with all our uh, social media social media handles. I just set this one up here. This is our Think Pink theme. Um, and this is actually my favorite just because I love pink. And this is set up for eight people. Um, yeah, little cute balloons. A tent with some games inside sanitation little basket with isn't this so cute it's the details for me um, and then the pompous grass and then just a cute little ice bucket here but so super duper cute yeah this is my favorite one and yeah hey all so it's way later and um, I'm about to get in the shower as you can hear the water, but I want to show you guys a few products or whatever that I'm going to be using. Excuse my hair, whatever. First, um, these, I just have to re-up on them. I like to use exfoliating gloves when washing my body. So I got these yesterday at TJ Maxx. This Billy razor, like last week, because I needed a new razor. And it looks like this. Come on, presentation. And yeah, it comes with like a magnet thing to stick in the shower. So I'm gonna be using this as well. And I also got this from TJ Maxx yesterday, which is, it smells really nice, but it's by uh, Amina. It's cashmere and silk body serum and um, smooth and hydrate with argan oil, aloe vera gel, rosehip oil, coconut oil an apple extract it smells really nice so it's just like a serum for your body so can we use that soap and glory the breakfast scrub which smells like coffee and then when i get out the shower i'm gonna use i like to mix these two together this is i have eczema so super dry skin um but i like to mix the eucerin repair cream with the palmer's cocoa butter oil which i like this picture in the back so nice it's two of them um but anyways yes yeah, see you guys this sick. so today is wednesday um no it's not today when is today tuesday no today is wednesday um oh my mirror is filthy but anyways yeah i am on my way to the gym but i really wanted to show you all these leggings first off I had to double check in the mirror and make sure I had pants on because <laughs> I thought I was naked for a second. But I just bought these leggings yesterday from TJ Maxx and they feel so freaking nice. They almost blend in with my skin so I hope people don't think I'm naked at the gym when I go today. But they, they feel so amazing. Um, I forgot the brand Dry Wick and they were $16.99. I got a black pair as well. They're so freaking comfortable, but anyways, um, just thought I'd show you guys my gym OOTD. I'm doing nudes today, so just this like nude t-shirt or beige t-shirt, brown leggings, white Adidas hat, and my normal Nike tennis shoes. And then I also have my giant Evian water. This is a liter and a half, so you guys that. Oh, but I did want to show you guys some um 
two things that I got yesterday at the Max. I went in there for this. This is Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch um, Detangling Therapy. Um, I've never used it, but I really wanted to try it. Um, so yeah, this is a detangler. I can't wait. Can't wait to use it. Hopefully, it works. And then I also got um, TGIN. Thank God, it's natural. Miracle Repair Curl Food Daily Moisturizer because it looked really good. It smelled good. It has biotin in it, black castor oil, and my hair is kind of thin, so this should help with that. Um, and some random stuff that I'll show y'all later, but I'm gonna head out. Okay, I thought I would try the Celsius with you guys. Here it is. Like I said, I got the Kiwi Guava. Now, my sister said that these are nasty, but I'm not really drinking it for flavor. So, the point of this is smell, smells good. No sugar, no preservatives. Oh, that's not bad. What is the hell talking about? Zero sugar. So apparently this is like a pre-workout or energy drink Red Bull, but better for you. So uh, it gives you energy, accelerates metabolism, burns body fat, but it doesn't have... Yeah, oh, it is... Oh, it's not a lot of caffeine. So when I leave the gym, I'm going to go try and find a car mount for my camera